Hello. This is Doomfight Tactics. It's far more popular than Storybook Brawl, so I don't suppose anyone really needs an introduction, but well, it is an outrageous game. You pick characters, place them, they fight automatically. And just like in Storybook Brawl, you have tribes, you have uh, items here that you put on your characters instead of uh, artifacts passively. It's not quite nice. Now, let's see what we can build. Interesting. I'm rather fond of Caitlyn. A one cost character that can be your uh, main damage dealer. With very little investment. So I don't usually pick her outside of her comps. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. They're all hackstack. Let's see. Strikers. There's a company. Hmm, I do have a striker. Do I want to go strikers? That guy picked the forge option. This guy is Yordles. Deponair. Challenger. Luton Zeko. Nobody's going strikers. I can be striker, sure. I can be strikers. And if I am, then we already have strikers, so that's not too bad. No. Yeah, other than uh, gaining additional strikers, we would also just like to have two star units. If we can wrangle it. Hmm. I guess. Yeah, I only had one yodel. Strange. Hmm. Nothing much, huh? Can we get a striker? I'm supposing I only have strikers. We could. How oh, nice. Kind of a part at this point in the game, isn't it? Oh. We'll find out soon. Econ. For those who aren't familiar with TFT, you get one additional gold per 10 that you possess as your income at the end of turn, up to 50. Hmm, that is to say up to 5 interest from 50 gold. No reason for me to do anything other than leave well enough alone for now. Hmm. 
Definitely looks like assassins. Kind of trying to be mercenaries, maybe? Yeah, looks like it. nice items for us, but most of them have been picked. There should still be enough, I think. Not too bad. Oh, could have been better, honestly. so strong that I can just ignore the desire to buy XP. No, I will. There's something to be said for trying to go mutant here, I guess. But this guy is not the right mutant. Takes two spots because he's a Colossus. I only had one spare. I think my win streak gives me two gold income. You can grab this three if you've won five or more in a row. So it's better than uh, the one more interest from having 20 gold. I need to take a serious look at this. Should I replace these two with uh, this Chuga here? And this way I gain mutant on top, which seems like a good idea to me. Visage. That's a very powerful artifact from uh, this trait here. Not nearly enough, obviously. We're doing really well. Five win streak gives us a nice amount of income. We're doing quite well for ourselves for now. I'll be keeping this uh, sparing loss and see what I can make of it later. The rest could be used. I think I like Goggle Plate and maybe Redemption. Hmm, after this combat. Doesn't look like I'll be losing this one, so should be fine for now. Hmm. 
Yeah. Since we get so much bonus income, one from winning a round plus three from the win streak, that's four additional. We are relatively rich for now. Hmm. This gives me scholars on top. And like I said, it's better to just maintain my win streak. Hmm. Something like this. Luden's Echo too, huh? It's not that big a deal that Syndra didn't do much. And she gave me the Scholar Tribe, which gives mana to all of my characters every two seconds. Quite nice, I think. I don't think we'll have any trouble with this guy. No, we maintain our win streak so far. Undefeated. Very nice. Hmm. I'm not quite sure about this. I guess we'll go with back foot. It could be worse. I would honestly prefer something else, but it is a mutant and a decent uh, item holder, I guess. I'm considering moving the stuff from uh, Cassidy to this guy. He's a bit more fragile though because he's a one star, even if he is four cost. Perhaps next round I'll think about it. Might be a mistake though. Like I said, too fragile. Even if he deals much better damage. There might have been actually a certain amount of sense in making Cassid in my main carry instead of the normal uh, Sivir or Aurelia if I had not already made this Bloodthirster. Because uh, mutants currently Omnivamp, which is to say they have lifesteal. Mutants are the tribe that changes every game. Between a couple of particular sets. Hmm. I would have liked a bow or a sword, but since neither exists here, it doesn't matter that much. I guess I'd take an armor because there's nothing else. <laughs> well, the perils of being first place. You go last in the carousel for items. Hmm. It is a striker. I am missing one more to go 6 strikers, which is really, really nice for us. I could buy this for now, but... It's a bit early to just level up to 7. I want to. A bit early though. Hmm, I wonder what I'll make with this uh, armor later on. Not quite sure. Yeah, combat's starting to be tougher. I might even lose this one. It's not quite looking like it, but maybe? No, uh, it doesn't seem as though Cassidy's gonna die early enough. He tanked so much. I mean, 7400 damage he tanked, and he gave himself quite a bit of shield and heal. That was very nice. It's not that Cassidy is such a strong unit, but so early with these items, he's quite serviceable. And here we are. I'm not sure which do I want. If I only had found Aurelia or a Sivir, I could uh, transform to six strikers and uh, everything would have been much better. As it stands though, 
I don't think I've added that much to the team by putting this guy in. Hopefully we can maintain our win streak. And my greed at not going below 50 won't cost me the big 9 win streak. This doesn't look as though it will, but... Yeah, it looks quite fine. I don't think I'll have trouble. Am I wrong? I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, that's my win. 10 win streak. Very nice. Cassidy was such a good choice for early items because he's so tanky. For a uh, 1 star. I don't think I need this, but... Hmm, do I roll at 7? 15% should be enough for me to see Sivir or Irelia, and here Sivir is. Very nice. We are... Let's see Striker now. Not such a major difference. Don't really have any items Sivir would want though. That's nice. Hmm. Well, I could make Last Whisper. Do I want to give Last Whisper to Sivir? I mean, since I already made uh, Bloodthirst Arrow, Aurelia might be a better choice for me. But I'm not 100% in on it. Hmm. I mean, how badly would it cost me? Yeah, they didn't really have heavily armored units, so everything went very well for me. My 11th win in a row, not bad. Because the thing is, this is a last whisper for sure. Afterwards I'll just be lacking a bit more in the form of... Uh, Infinity's Edge, and I'll be doing quite well. Hmm. If I'm not going with the Sivir way though, then I'd probably want this. It's time to go say goodbye to Cassidy. It's helped me quite well. Perhaps not just yet? Hmm. Yeah, maybe next round. Maybe next round I'll allow myself to just go wait. The win streak is so helpful, I should maintain it if I can. Once this guy is down, he's the main DPS, he had three items on him. And then uh, the rest of him shouldn't pose a problem at all. Yep. Even without item Sivir is doing quite well, well, with uh, 120 bonus damage. Any strong carry is gonna go to town, so to speak. Hmm. That should definitely be enough. Right? I suppose this isn't bad. I mean, it gives him more socialite. That's the, the advantage. And let's see. Okay, another Sivir and another this guy. Hmm. There's nothing to be said for trying with four uh, Gallium, maybe. Since it seems as though Sivir is the thing that comes regardless of my wishes, I should probably just upgrade her. Yeah, these guys might be tankier, so it's, it's good to do so. I want Gallium in the sort of final draft of this. It might be possible to put Galio in. I think it's quite possible to, to put Galio in. Hmm. Galio is quite strong. Let me think. Right now what I want is mostly uh, 
Yeah, the rod and the bow. But since I can make neither, I'll take... No, I have an armor. Um, what am I even taking? I'll take this thing. It might be useful at some point. Maybe. I don't think I'll want this on you though. Hmm, do I really need a second... Uh, no, I can make frozen heart perhaps. Let's see. Here's Aurelia. I'll roll a bit more. Another Aurelia. I can sell things, that's why I'm allowed... Ah, uh, there we go. That's why I'm allowing myself this. Um, let me see... I should really sell things, so I'll be a bit lower this round, but it's just for one round, so it's fine. I'll replace uh, Shogath with Galio next round, it's much stronger. And I'll also replace some others. Let's see. I'm definitely replacing Kassadin and Shogath next round. And then I'm putting in uh, Galio and hmm. Galio and uh, Vi, perhaps? Let's see, mutant level up. Try for level 10 or at least 9. It's interesting. That's, that's very interesting. I mean, I don't know about getting two mutant emblems. That's certainly an option for me, but five per trait. Hmm. It's something, but I'm more intrigued by this. I have no experience of it. Okay, so let's see. You can be a striker. And I think I don't really want redemption on that guy. Uh, I'm going to make Vi another striker. And I'm also going to make this guy quite tanky. And then, hmm. Let's see, who am I putting these items on? Because they're oh, wasted right about now. Yeah, with the items wasted, I'm kind of losing, am I not? Indeed. Uh, that's what happens when you half ass it. Well, let's see. I wanted to replace someone for her. I'm not quite sure who it should have been. Now, since I get 7 XP, yeah. I should level to 9 quite quickly. Hmm... Perhaps I should get rid of this Draxai for her? I mean, I will be losing Bruiser, which is a bit of a shame, but... We are going in an untraditional direction. That's really not necessary. You might be interesting, hmm... Let me think. It's a bit early for that. Hmm. I kind of like having him in, but I don't think Rek'Sai does this much for me. So let's get rid of Rek'Sai, shall we? Uh, and then what? I want to go to 9 and have this in. Oh yeah, and the item can go on her. And this will go on who? On Vi, I suppose? No. I'm not sure who should be in it. Who should be in it? I mean, who should be holding the redemption? Someone that will stand in the middle the entire time. Not Galio, because Galio flies like this. Hmm. I'm a bit of a lost trick now, huh? I will see in a moment how we resolve this. I'd like to do Dragon's Claw and Frozen Heart, I guess? Lots of tank items. Ah, oh, that's nice for a rally. Hmm. Who puts all those tank items on? I 
really wanted to have a strong frontliner. Strong frontliner that's going to be... Yeah, something like this. We don't need this anymore. We're level 9 now, so that's nice. Uh, we do want one more Vi, two more Galio, and uh, two more Braum. If we can get these, then we'll have a better chance. And our main problem is going to be a lack of damage later on. We didn't get damage items, unfortunately. But perhaps if we just put enough uh, strong late game characters in, it should be resolved. Oh good. These are all excellent late game characters. Hmm, should I uh, try and replace something for Jin? I mean... We don't particularly need Vi, do we? Apart from... She doesn't provide anything to us, does she? No, not really. And we do need damage. I think Jin, if he's going to be a striker, will be a very good source of damage. So we'll try and replace her. Uh, usually she would give you Bruiser, and she'd be a frontliner which you'd need, but I have Braum now to be a frontliner for me. And Galio, which aren't really a uh, core in this. So hopefully they will be really helpful for us. Yeah, it's working out fine for now. And we'll try and replace. Another option would have been to make a uh, striker Kha'Zix after all, but I think it's less stable. Uh, maybe not here if you can get mutants up. I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure I want to. Um, damage would be amazing for us. This is damage. Unfortunately, we're still uh, too high on health to get it. Probably. Uh, maybe the others have a uh, higher priority on uh, something else. As for me, I really, really need the damage. And that's the best damage here. We'll be placing this on our Sivir. She's definitely nice. I would roll for uh, more of these guys, but seeing as we are so high on health, I don't think it's a major um, problem right now. This case has got Jin too, so it might be hard to get it. But other than that, there's not much competition for anything. Maybe I'll give up on the Jin. It's not necessary. Just nice. Could replace it with... Uh, what's the name? Uh, Zeri. Maybe. That's a lot of damage from this assassin town. I think so. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. That's gonna be a problem, because my guys are more tanky than anything. I don't have the kind of damage output to compete with them yet. Once my guys are upgraded, uh, then it's a different story. And here we have Zeri. I mean, I kind of like the idea of going with Zeri. Um, let's see. Because Zeri Striker is definitely a thing. We could do it. So we're giving up on... Uh, Vi for Zeri, yeah, makes sense. We, we need damage. We definitely need damage. And since uh, the summon already has Jin, we'll try and make Zeri happen. We're back at 50 gold and uh, with the kind of HP pool that we have, it's still too early to really waste it. Might have been a mistake to put the Striker and uh, stone plate on this guy. Striker doesn't do anything for me, I just thought it's very convenient because I probably don't want to replace him. As for the stone plate, well, you need to put it on somebody who actually front lines and this guy just jumps around. Mistake. That's nice. More tankiness. Hmm, that's a nice item. Uh, I'll give it to Seraphine, I believe. Do a roll. Maybe two. Oh, that's very nice. I'll give up on the gen. Hmm, at this point, if we can get our hands on two more Zeri and one more Seraphine, we'll probably win. Do you believe in these? I don't think for one second. That's very nice. 
I'll keep rolling because I'm not intending to keep any of these things. Hmm. Some interesting uh, options here. Eh, uh, something. Uh, anyway. It's almost impossible for us to complete any of these things. Just give me two more Zeri, I think we'll win. Well, that was an easy fight. And he's gone. It's just me and one other guy. Considering he's got health enough for one hit. And he only gets stronger if he actually manages to complete his yodels. Should probably just roll for Zeri. <laughs> Two of those girls, Kaisa. Don't think Kaisa really works for us. Is this guy going to work for us? Hmm. Assuming we got him. Maybe, maybe not. Could have had a lot of others. Where is Zeri? <laughs> Instead it's just Tom Kench and Kaisa all the time. Thing is they do magic damage so they're not as good for us. Try and increase our uh, income in case this goes to next round and we have to try and find Zeri too. Uh, it's not. We very handily win. And there you have it. First place. Very nice. Quite happy with this. I'm not high ranked yet, I just relatively uh, recently started playing but I believe that this is good enough. Well, thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoyed this, come again. I'll see you next time.